Yeah. All right, we're back at the rabbit hole. So we were talking about what uh, Mr. Kanye got us talking again, like he always does. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what was your perspective of it? Yeah. So, like I said, the perspective was he was just saying. He was your compar- perspective. He, well, well, what I saw him. If you see the whole context, that's what he said. I don't think he's like really trying to say. We go. He so he said key words that made it bad. I'm gonna go DefCon on Jews. Now you know, just saying that is that's a <laughs> it doesn't what does that sound even good. Mean. Defcon. What is DefCon? DefCon you know Five, what? right? Is what is, DefCon? Is that like a military term? Like, yeah. like um, you know what, I'm let, gonna let, get. Let me look up. I heard it before, but I let me see. Let's he see doesn't it. even know. Have you? Did you see the little clip where he's talking to Tucker Carlson and he says something and he's like, right. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's seen me, but I know if I'm there, or I don't know if I saw him, but I know he'll see me or something like that. And then he goes. I don't know what that means, but it just sounded good. Like he literally broke down a, a Tucker Carlson, like said that he was like, I don't know what that means, but it just sounded good. And Tucker starts laughing. He's at his butt. Like they both start laughing. Right, right. And I'm like, that's a hundred percent who he is. Right. He's like, I just, it's just like something that maybe he's heard in the, right. so he probably doesn't even know what DEF CON means. So, so DEF CON, the defense readiness condition is an alert state used by the United States, uh, armed forces. So I think, okay. I think yeah, you know yeah. about what okay, that so is. It's like, uh, but it's still, yeah, it's it's um, kind of like... Like during 9-11, it would be like the, what was it? The orange or the red, whatever the tiers were that were like, I just remember being in the city and then being like, we're on orange alert, orange uh, alert. Huh. <laughs> so it's kind of like that, like the highest he alert. Ready this condition, I guess. I guess so. He's, he's ready. Oh my God. He didn't even know what he was saying. Are you, are we... What do you, what do you mean? Just straight up. That's him talking out of his face and not understanding what he's actually saying, which is, which is a hundred percent why... He's here. He's he's landed himself in all of this boiling water. All right. Because I guarantee you, um, I guarantee you, he does not know that he's basically. I mean, if you think about it, he said he was going to go DefCon on on the Jewish community, uh, as if they're the biggest threat. So, so the connotation on, there on, is him saying on, they're the biggest threat on, on the on the Jew. Well, okay. But he's saying he's saying the Jewish people that's in power, so it's it still makes sense, you know. So he's saying it's going he's not cut. saying those specific people though. He's equating it to a well, in context, group, like you know, to a a religious. Well, I get well in context. He's just saying they're controlling our stuff. The right, Jewish Jews he, in those places. It's not like every Jew is is controlling. But what the, and he also said when, once a Jew, a person that's Jewish do good. They say the whole community is good. Yes. And so in the black community, it'll be like that one person's good, but if you do bad, everybody, all black people bad. You know, it's a weird, weird kind of concepts he's he's throwing out there. But no, no, no. I understand where he's going with that. Yeah, really yeah. Like super he did not mean thing. DefCon then, he, and he needs to come out and say that, and he'll never, he never will, which is the problem, because it sounds like he's basically saying they're the biggest threat when he says something like that. But what he really means is we need to rise up to their level. We need, as as a black community, we need to take a page out of their book, and we need to. He and he's basically saying I want to beat them at their own game is what yeah, he's saying. In general, instead yeah. of like we need to look at them as the biggest threat, which is that verbiage. There's uh, a difference it, 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 by saying that. There's word. a healthy competition, right. and there's a dangerous. It's, all, it's also dangerous separation, yeah, right? And it's also just attention <laughs> getting. It sounds great. Defcon. What is that? You know, it sounds yes, it, like it's something him trying to be salacious. And, and, and now we know what DefCon means. Right. Know? Yeah. I bet you anything <laughs> so, he has not looked it up. And I bet you I'm he sure has he even... knows. I'm sure he did. I mean, it's a term used to say, it's, I'm sure it's just a term you use when you say, oh, I'm going to go bad on somebody or I'm, I, I don't mm. care no more. I'm, 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 it I'm sounds at higher good. Level. I'm at higher It sounds level. good, but the I'm actual at, meaning I mean, of it defensive, is different. Defensive alert. Is it? I mean, you can Right. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a threat. It's a threat. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's it's necessary. Or and wrong. I don't think he meant it as a threat. Yeah, but but it absolutely right. is what it means. Right. Like, I don't think he meant it as a threat. I think that was ignorant. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't think he right. meant it as a threat. I just, I just, he made his own definition, put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, you know, like he does in a lot of words. A lot of people. Uh, I mean, in a way, we need somebody, we need somebody reckless like this to help us 
muddy the waters in a okay and what i mean by that is we're too um literal in this world that we live in right now everybody wants to and and everybody is in their own is literal in their own definitions what it means to them is what it is right instead of instead of just taking that person and the context and knowing that individual and their intentions and just sort of understanding where where they're coming from as opposed to this is where i'm coming from and this is a hundred percent like what it was do you know do you know what i'm saying i i don't i don't think that what he does is healthy i don't think it's healthy for him and so i'll say that right in the right up front but but i do think that okay, th- okay. in our world so, right now we're too black and white and there okay. is a lot of gray in this world uh, right uh, yeah there's a lot of gray uh, I just want to go back on a DevCon situation. So it's, it's, it makes sense even more now. And I think he's just using military terms because that's what a lot of... A lot it of those, sounds good. It's just of, like the Tucker okay. Carlson interview right. where he's like, I don't know what it means, so, but it sounds good. So here they have levels of DevCon. They have DevCon 1, DevCon 2, DevCon yeah. 3. And he said DevCon 3 specifically. Oh, he did? Okay. And that means Roundhouse increased the force of readiness above the required form of normal readiness. Threat. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you would, t- you would take it as get a ready to, Get ready to fire back. Get ready Get ready to increase our power because because we're being, we're, we might be being attacked any moment. Well, okay. If you're just saying. Increase de- your power of readiness. Defense. Increase your power of readiness. A Means defense, like right. be ready to go. Right. Yeah. Maybe something like that. Because we have intelligence that says they're coming so just for using us. using military terms. but Yes, he doesn't. Yes, and he didn't. Yeah, yeah. But wears, then everybody wears, out there is like, this a, is what he, he means. He wears a military vest sometimes. So maybe he thinks he's a, well, he wants to be a different. general. I, that's he kind wants of, to no, be no, no, like I think, oh. revolutionary. Oh, so not like a bulletproof vest. Just like no, um, a bulletproof vest. Real, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Because there probably are some people that want to take some shots at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> reckless. He's <laughs> reckless. I don't, I don't know that he's as unstable as he's as he tries to portray. I think he's just um, impulsive. You know, I don't know. I don't know if impulsive also equates to uh, like uh, some sort of psychosis. I'm I'm not saying that he doesn't have mental issues. I I think we all do. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that he, okay, here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, and it's really hard for me not of to the be. Music, of the music. No, right? no, no, no. Oh. Like of of, of I, I feel like I have w- probably way too much compassion and understanding for for him when he speaks because there are certain things that he says, and I'm just like, you are insane. You are reckless. And then he says something right after it, and I'm like, you make sense. <laughs> You're. Ma- I'm like, I see. I know. Re- I see his brain in a way. That I, I, and maybe it's just me rationalizing that madness, but if, if I was to die, like just dive into one of his conversations and sort of transcribe it, I don't know what the word, but like with my understanding of him as a person and and an artist and all these things, and also the limited knowledge, he does, he's, he's intelligent, but he's not that intelligent. So there are certain things that he, and I'm not saying he's not, he's definitely an intelligent person, but he's not when he says certain things, you've got to give him leeway because, because he says them. Well, there's multiple he, intelligence and his emotional intelligence. Is, I don't think it's good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, so that's probably it's very yeah. low on the spectrum. On Thank you. Far. You just, he, you can't. Um, but, but sometimes mm-hmm. that can work for you. Awareness. Yeah, get the emotion, like, yeah. get other people involved in emotion. I didn't know that, uh, you know, when he had that gospel album, he had the top eight gospel songs on the chart. Which one? At that time. I, I I don't know. I thought it was, I think I'm guessing it's from his album or he actually had a whole gospel album. I think it's, it might be from him, his album, and they just put it in the gospel charts. Uh, um, let's see. There's that one's like, take what you want, take what you want from me. What is that song? Because I freaking loved that one. Jail Tonight. Yeah. Oh, Marilyn yeah, Manson. yeah. Oh, Marilyn sorry. Manson yeah. and, uh, yeah. I'm I guess like that, it's going to Jail Tonight. But, um, well, they all sound like gospel. Kanye gospel yeah. album. Uh oh, Jesus is King. So yeah, I didn't. I, I actually didn't hear that album because I think it was all gospel. I was like, okay, but we should and, listen to it and like and, do our whole review. Next to, ha- time. to have eight songs on the gospel charts, 
You know, I guess, I mean, he's famous. It's Kanye, so all kind of people are listening to it that would never listen to a gospel album. You know what I mean? When so you sent me that. that link the other day of him going live with the Aloe guy on Drink Champs. Mm -hmm. So do you do you know what Aloe is? I, I was trying to like, I was, I was Aloe. So A-L-O is oh. a clothing brand oh. that is now, because all these other clothing brands are dropping him, they're really <laughs> taking a chance. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't do it. I gotta be honest, like, if I was a clothing brand like Aloe, who really needs, I mean, it's probably genius. It honestly, at the end of the day, will probably end up being genius because they, they've been around forever and they well, sort of need a rebranding. They, they have the White Lives Matter shirts now on Aloe. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I don't think that's the chance they need to be making. The... <laughs> but yes, that is sort of. Who's the, wearing the, that really? I just. To, to be gosh. on the fact, I'm sure she handed it to him and he so, just put it on. You know who I, I want to know? I want to know how. These uh, with like white ring, white wing extremists, or you know, white wing people that you know, all lives matter talk and all that. How do they feel about Kanye? Really, like, like he took over uh, a company, the white ring company, um, right wing company, and all that. Like, do they? Which one? Are they probably bad a little bit? You know, what I mean? maybe those. Are you talking saying, about Olive? No, it was an actual white, media white company. Wing it's like a right media wing, company. Sorry. I'm not sure. Let me look that up. He just bought it. Um, it must be Aloe then. Um, that's a, it's a clothing, clothing brand. No, no, no. Oh. Um. Why oh yeah, no, they're not gonna like that. I'll tell you right now. What's that guy? Who is the guy with the the KKK leader or whatever? Oh, it's he called, ain't it's liking that. It's called Parler. Parler is a white. Oh, ring, it's a it's an app. Conservative. Yeah, uh, conversation app media thing. App. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he he's he bought it. Yeah, Kanye he did. Agrees to buy it. That's yeah. awesome. Wait, did he? So what's you see what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what is odd. he doing? I cannot not be a fan. There are <laughs> so the positives outweigh the negatives for me, for me personally. Huh. Uh, of course, it's his talent. I mean, it, his they're just from day one. He has a way with uh, lyrics. Just I'm a big lyric person, but also it's the way the lyrics fit in to the to the music too. Mm. And he's there's something about his his abilities. Right. Yeah, because he was right. a producer I like his, his production was, was was great. You know? um, his creativity, I, I being, being not, himself. You know what I mean? It's, it's, well, you know when really he good. when his new album came out and, it, and Drake's dropped his like kind of at the same time and there was that big competition of who's better. Right. It was like hands down, hands right. down for me. And I didn't even love every single song, but I loved the one like the five that I did like mm. enough to be like. And I'm a big Drake fan too, but I none of those really hit me the same way mm -hmm. he he's able to can uh, i don't know i don't know what it is well he has he has confidence i think a lot of people like that some people a lot of people hate it they hate on that but the confidence and, and, and yeah that blind confidence you know it's like uh everybody everybody that's great in something they're like really confident about themselves you but know so does I mean? drake like, drake has that confidence too yeah but not like not like kanye obviously like kanye's like he don't care he'll say it whatever um just cocky like any you could, greatest of all time in basketball michael jordan he was cocky as hell like to be good you kind of have a little you need a little bit of that like yeah. if you look at anybody in their position uh -huh. they are really cocky if they're if they're really big yeah and they're not I mean? without fault like right, they're course, all but in the, but they that, don't really apologize for it. I've never once heard Michael Jordan apologize for any of the crazy shit he's done. <laughs> right? right? Ever. Yeah. Um, and there is something. Yeah, they didn't have, like, they didn't have cancel cultures back then. When Michael, uh, but we Michael do Jordan now. And it's really hard for me to cancel Kanye. It, <laughs> there are moments where I'm just like, you're done. You are, you're yeah. insane. Like you're done. Yeah. I mean, I'm not canceling nobody's uh, art. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm still true. watching Bill Cosby. Yes. Yeah, I'm still yeah. listening to R. Kelly. Oh, oh no. And I even watched the uh, <laughs> white. Uh, why? I think it's heart. Uh, <laughs> I think said I'm not canceling anybody's heart. And that is no, another thing where no. you could tell Connie's heart in it. Yeah, yeah, now I know what you said. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, what's that? Weinstein, Einstein, what's his name? Weinstein? You're not going to cancel him? I, I, I'm sure I saw his movie. I don't oh, even know his yeah, movies, yeah. but other people don't even but say nothing about that. But they watch his movies too. In the in, in that point movie? with him, so like with uh, R. Kelly and with Bill Cosby, it's just them, right? I mean, I guess they have like teams behind them, but th that's art that they've created. With Weinstein, there's other artists that are involved in in the creations to make them 
what the they you, were. Where you could still watch the movie. Yeah, to, to where like to he really was just the money, and he was kind of the tyrant. So it's almost like in spite of him, this thing was good because in spite of with, these women were like enduring all of this like abuse during that project. Mm-hmm. When you watch those things, you can sort of. I, I honestly have never even thought about this before, but I'm thinking about it now. And like when you're watching these projects, like um, Shakespeare in Love, uh, with he he was a big producer on it, and he got the Academy Award for it. And it and um, we know that he definitely tried to assault Gwyneth Paltrow, and he came at her or whatever. So mm-hmm. it's almost like she had to endure. She was that good in spite of having to deal with all that crap in that way. So yeah, it's a little different, but but I. You wouldn't cancel anybody? There's nobody you'd cancel? I don't, I don't think we'd cancel. I don't, I don't, no. I mean, I just, I mean, you know what? What uh, would be your line? Like, what's your what's your um, line in terms of art? Like, let's say you really love somebody's art, but like, what would they have to do? Should I let them out? Yeah. <laughs> no, you just, we'll just keep going. Like, what, yeah. what would be the... To say, uh... Yeah, I I'm won't gonna, listen to this person anymore. This person anymore. Um, I don't know if I like if I like the music. I mean, I don't have to play it for other people. I mean, if I like a song, any song, I can play it. I, you know, it's like it's not it's not hurting anybody by me playing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I I think I think. So maybe it's not music. So there's no line for music as long as you like it, the um, music. Yeah. So t- TV. I mean, there's no. I'm not watching nothing inappropriate. But if they did something inappropriate in their real life, inappropriate in their real life, and they have a TV show, that shouldn't stop me from watching the show. What if you know? Same that thing. We... There's other people in the show, oh. like you were saying. There are other people in the Bill Cosby mm-hmm. show. You know what I mean? Like, so you you're canceling all of them too, and they didn't do nothing at the same time. Now it's about. I'm not, I'm not stopping to watch it. I'm not. Well, I'm sorry. Well. I'm not stopping to watch. It. <laughs> I am stopping to watch it. I I'm I'm not canceling the Cosby Show. Right. Mm-hmm. Well. I can't take it from my childhood. Like I can't take those. Mem- I was just making a joke last weekend about it. It was a good TV show. It is positive. But here's and, here's a, an but, example for me that Danny Masters. So the '70s show. Have you watched the '70s show? I watched it couple times okay so i used to watch it all the time and i loved it and i still can't take away from how much i loved it but um it does make me look at that one actor differently so danny masterson's now on trial he was he's a scientologist and he 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 raped people at gunpoint it's now coming out that these women these women were like at gunpoint and she and and they tried to report it but they were also a part of scientology so Uh so they Dang. The first one that he went for, apparently, I, I can't remember if she was like victim number three or victim number one. Number one, it was, I think it was number three. That, but she like took the first. Anyway, apparently, she, her whole family's in Scientology. Which now, because of Leah Remini, we all know how tied that is. If you're in Scientology and you go against it, you lose everybody. It's like no longer can you talk to your family. They have to cut ties with you. Right. So this happened to her. Horrific. She goes to them and she says, you know, he had me at gunpoint. And they were like, clearly he didn't because we're not even, he doesn't even own a gun. So literally the guy sat her down and was like, you must be mistaken because he doesn't even own a gun. And then obvi- like during this trial, it's coming out like clearly he did own a gun. And, and so all so she was trying to do it the right way going to Scientology how do I report this because it did happen and I can't deny it but I want to go through the church and I want to do it right Mm -hmm. they basically told her to go to the police report it without saying rape Mm -hmm. and and just I don't even know what their reason what what they told her to say I didn't I didn't watch but she couldn't use the word rape she couldn't say that he used a gun they took all of the validity out of it so that she basically just looked like a mad woman right yeah, like absolutely. who was didn't get what she wanted out of it right. and then they and then they were like you can report that and she did she did go and do what they said but of course nothing came of it because they took all of the validity out of it they took all all, all of her truth out of it and so now on the stand she's able to actually say oh, everything um but i don't know if she right. lost her family i don't know if they're still in scientology and yeah, she just realized a whole, whole bunch of stories like that and that's scientology stuff it's crazy it's like, oh it's a cult i mean like you know those cults that's really but but i can't the, i can't look at guy. anything he did in the same way yeah uh, you know the show is still funny to me but like if i see that actor it does change his talent for me because huh. it just he's huh. not a, it does it like really 
Yeah, yeah. like if he yeah. was in a really good movie, I mean, honestly, he wasn't that great of an actor anyway. Let's be wrong, honest. He was okay. sort of a throwaway character. Right. right. He, uh, like he honestly was out of the whole. It was almost like if he was like a real actor, he'd be like, "Hey, he's." A real actor in, li- in real life, too, because I could never see that in him. Wow, he right. really did that. He owned a gun. What? He's a good actor. You're like talking me into like him. never canceling anybody. I mean, honestly. No, put it this way. Put it this way. I'm going to say this. I will. I think watching the movie Dahmer is worse than listening to R. Kelly music. Just for what it can do. Like, if I'm listening to R. Kelly, it can't do it. Uh, you know, what? what is it doing? The, supporting the movie Dahmer first is is uh, making the families distraught or whatever. And it's the same thing with listening to his it's music. It's one of these this crazy person that's probably going to try to do Dahmer stuff. No, I'm saying I'm not hurting. You don't think there's a guy that's going to go pee on a 14 year old? No, <laughs> pee on an 18 year old, <laughs> especially you know, of, of age. Oh my god. Instagram recently it's, this girl they were like what's the craziest thing you've done and she was like so this guy hit me uh, up the, did you see that no what okay. she said what what is this she so she was like this guy over the summer wanted me to be his like he was wanted to be my sugar daddy and he wanted me to come over and pee on him oh, okay, and he yeah. was gonna pay me 10 grand and so I did it and I got the 10 grand and right. then I went to college the next semester and he was my teacher <laughs> he was the teacher of the class <laughs> she just like this guy stopped her on the he, street and was wanted, asking and she came out with that story I bet you she shocked. got an A yeah 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 you that's you. Not you come back. like so did you ace that class <laughs> right. like, you better right. <laughs> But um, I, you know, I, the Dahmer thing, you know, on Instagram, all the families have been like re-victimized and all this. Right. The fact that I, there's like other shows now, like other, right. other, Dahmer, and Sean, I'm like, you Dahmer know what? Now. I kind of agree now. Yeah. Cause I, I was sort of had, crazy on it now. Like, ooh, yeah, like just let to, it all out. Yeah. I like would, Dahmer Jr. You know, it's like, yeah. gonna, like a musical now. Right. Like, what, like he's going to come out with Dahmer some, the and musical. That's what I'm saying. There's somebody, I'm not saying everybody, but there's somebody out there like, I want to be, I want to die like that. I'll be the man forever. I do something crazy and kill some people. And I'll be, I'll have movies about me. Well, I think how I'll it starts forever. is, I don't have any friends. I feel like I'm him. I've wanted to taste people before, right? You know, it's it's <laughs> the knows? relation to who he is as a, as a whatever, like lost soul right. in There's society. Probably, there's crazy people out there that hold it back, I'm sure. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure if we didn't have cameras oh. everywhere too, it would be, it'd be, it'd be really worse right now. But like, like back in the days, 80s, there was a lot of crazy killings that nobody ever found out about because they couldn't track people. Um, they didn't have like DNA testing. So imagine... I, I heard a statistic about serial killers, and I don't know if it was just LA, but it was like in the, I think it was the United States, uh, our our police force or whatever, like 